Hey guys, it's Stanford here with First Updates Now. Today I'm with Team 4201, always one of the best teams in Southern California. We're going to be going over their elevator intake, some of their neat vision stuff in their electrical. I've got Harrison, Mason, Giselle, and Momo here to explain all that, so stay tuned for all that and more in another episode of Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun was brought to you by viewers like you and also by the following. Discover how you can graduate debt-free at Kettering University with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more, schedule a visit, or apply. Fun is continuing to grow and looking for new ad partners for the 2024 season. If your organization has a positive message to spread to our over 250,000 unique viewers, go to firstupdatesnow.com slash contact to get more information. All right, so first up, you, Harrison. Uh, we're going to be going over the really, really neat intake on this robot, so go ahead and take us through that. Right, so um, our intake is loosely inspired on the Everybot intake from 118, um, and it works on a chain four bar that actually changes angle as, can you, can you demonstrate that Ronan please? Yeah. It actually changes angle uh, depending on where it is in position. So for example here would be a different position from here than, than would be for scoring. Uh, so I'll demonstrate it right now. So we can intake from the ground, uh, cones from the ground and standing up and we can also intake from the double substation. Yeah. Uh, and so for, for this intake, what did the prototyping process look like? Or where did it start? And what kind of got it to this point? Uh, right. One thing that we really like to make our team is like uh, we want a robot to be functional and modular. So we have like these chain tensioners here. And since it's not going to uh, get in the way of anything, we like to adjust the angle a lot to see what works best with our, uh, with our robot. All right. Awesome. So always deadly out on the field this intake but definitely enabling that is the really cool vision stuff they got going on here so mason take us through what you do for vision okay so for vision uh currently we were primarily uh using limelight so uh initially we were planning on using both limelight and april tag but we decided to just com uh, commit to limelight because uh just to be able to track pieces on the field so that's this section right here and initially we were just tracking the color uh, difference between the cone and a cube but now uh, with uh, implementation of a device called a google coral we're able to use machine learning to track the difference between a cone and a cube and we are implementing it throughout this competition so yeah all right, and also, is this something you've done before, or was this figured out that you needed to have this as like a driver aid for this season? Right. So initially, uh, we were believe, or we planned on using this for both driving and uh, autos, but uh, throughout the competition, we realized it's more like specifically towards autos because for driving, uh, we just felt like that the drivers could uh, just practice more and more, and then uh, basically just uh, get used to the controls, and then they wouldn't really need to use limelight. But they do use some of it, or like the camera on it, so that they're able to track where the cones and cubes are on the field if they can't see it. So, yeah. All right, and awesome stuff. And now we're going to go over the elevator on this robot. So, Giselle, take us through it. Yeah, of course. So we have a three-stage elevator that functions by all bearing blocks on the top and bottom of the two-by-ones. And what's special about our elevator is that for the top, we use the constant force spring to make sure that the top gearbox stage goes up first. And this is important to make sure that the intake doesn't interrupt any part of the top of the, our, in, our elevator. And something else that we have really cool is that the inside of each of the two by ones, we have a pulley and rope system. And this rope goes throughout every single stage of the elevator. It's one single um, infinity rope that we have. So it goes all the way through the top, the bottom, then bottom to top, and then it hits all the way over here to our elevator that has rope, um, rope tension screws all the way in the center. All right, and awesome stuff. This elevator is very clean. It's one of the best I've seen out on the field. Super short, allows this robot to really, really send it out there. Um, and last up, we're gonna talk about some of the electrical stuff that's going on, this uh, inverted belly pan. So Momo, take it away. So this year we decided to do a upside down belly pan so it makes um, fixing issues much more easier as the wiring crew can help fix um, the underside of the belly pan while um, assembly people and mechanical people can work on the elevator if needed. And so that created more flexibility when we're working on stuff in the pit. And this year we also focused a lot on labeling wires and making sure that every um, like wire management was really nice which helped a lot because we had very few uh, electrical issues this year and overall um, we just made sure to keep our wires really neat and so it was easier to trace them 
throughout the belly pan as well as the elevator and forward bar. We use the Igus for that. And yeah. And uh, do you want to sh show us the underside of this robot so we can get a little bit better of a look of all the really neat wiring under there? So we have um, a shield to cover the belly pan, obviously, so to protect it when we're running over the field. And as you can see, we wired all of our um, wires to keep track of all where the wires are going. And um, yeah. <laughs> All right, so these guys have been looking incredible here at SoCal Showdown, um, going to Beach Blitz as well after this, so looking to do really well there. This robot is one of the cleanest I've seen this whole season, so thank you very much for allowing us to interview you guys, and good luck with the rest of your competition. This video on fun was brought to you by viewers like you, and also by the following. Discover how you can graduate debt-free at Kettering University with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more, schedule a visit, or apply. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check out our social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.